Nice car. What's the retail on one of those? More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. No, not really. You just go see our friends over at House of Cars here in Tyler, Texas, and they will hook you up. Be sure and ask for Logan or Jaren and tell them GT Garage Talk sent you. Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and I am living in a dream today because I was handed the keys to this 2011 Ferrari California. This really is the perfect Ferrari for cruising down the California coast. Unfortunately, I am nowhere near the beach today, but I will take this Ferrari for a cruise around town here in Tyler, Texas. With its beautiful redhead V8 under the hood, yeah, up front, and its drop top hard top, who could want for anything more? All right, gearheads. So I did mention that beautiful redhead V8 under the hood up front when technically Ferrari V8s are found back in the back, but we'll get to that in a little bit. And before I pop the hood, I just want to take in the glorious styling of this Ferrari California. Me personally, I always thought this was a beautiful uh, vehicle from the Prancing Horse brand, and it is styled by famed Italian design house Pininfarina. The front up here does echo and recall some classic Ferraris of the 60s, and I think it just absolutely works. What are your thoughts? So yes, lurking under the hood is this glorious 4.3 liter V8 that cranks out 460 horsepower and 357 pound-feet of torque. This is mated to a seven-speed dual clutch automatic, and we'll talk more about that when we get out on the road, but boy, does this Ferrari V8 sound good, as it should, right? <laughs> Now, the Ferrari California fa faced a lot of criticism when it was first introduced, mainly because it ditched some Ferrari-level performance in favor of that retractable hardtop. That hardtop is very easy to drop down with the simple push of a button in the center console, and it lifts this trunk lid up uh, to store away nicely back in the back, leaving you with an open air sky to truly enjoy your drive down the California coast or wherever you may be. I absolutely love the side proportions of this vehicle. It has a very tapered design that starts as a wedge and just gets bigger as it goes to the very voluptuous rear end. This is a truly stunning car from this angle, in my opinion. So a lot of people criticize the design of the Ferrari California for this angle back here in the back. Choosing a hardtop convertible for comfort and convenience led to what some describe as a bulbous or hunchback rear end look. Me personally, I like a very large and sumptuous backside on a vehicle, so I actually really like the back of this Ferrari California, and with the top up, you get a nice slope from that rear window back into this rear trunk lid. Speaking of trunk lids, I have the bright red Ferrari key here, which actually does have a remote trunk release. You'll notice when I lift the trunk up, the taillights actually go up with the trunk. Uh, a very interesting design choice because US regulations don't allow for stop lamps to be on a movable panel, which is what comes in right here. And then there is actually, even with the top down, plenty of room for a usable trunk underneath this hard parcel shelf. Just need to be careful because your rear window is sitting right on top, and so you don't get your paint all dirty, there is a grab handle right here on the inside. A very useful and practical vehicle for a weekend getaway to, well, California, I'm sure. All right, getting in the Ferrari California, 
one of the biggest complaints of this vehicle was it was made back in a time when Ferrari made proper three pedal cars, but this one only came with a seven speed dual clutch, which gives you this series of buttons and these metallic flappy paddles that you can see are uh, console mounted, not steering wheel mounted, so you always know where up and down are. In order to put it in and out of gear, reverse, it's this button right here. And then you wanna put it in drive, pull the right paddle, off you go. So I made mention that Ferrari made a few sacrifices with their performance when they made this vehicle. And part of that, yes, is with that seven speed dual clutch. Again, this was back in the good old days when you could get a proper three pedal Ferrari. And a lot of enthusiasts were not too thrilled uh, that you could not row your own in the Ferrari California. But this dual clutch is actually quite spectacular. It, in all of my time driving around town, has not sputtered or done any of that low speed jitter that some dual clutch transmissions are known for and does an excellent job finding the right power band and shifting extremely smoothly. Getting out on the road with the top down, you can hear that glorious 4.3 liter redhead V8. And everybody loves the redhead, right? It is the perfect soundtrack that leaves me not wanting to turn on the stereo system whatsoever. A good Italian V8 just cannot be beat. It is a wonderful soundtrack nonetheless. Unfortunately, here in Tyler City traffic, I don't get to really experience the California like I would on a California back road. But I can get on it just a little bit. Definitely gives you hints of what is there to come. Now, I will mention the visibility out of this vehicle is actually quite stellar because there is no top. Put the top up and there is a rather thick B pillar that is just something you have to worry about. But given that this is a 2011 year model and only has 38,000 miles on it, I don't think you're really going to be getting this one out of the garage unless that you have a beautiful, clear, uh, sunshiny day, much like today. This really is a weekend perfect weather car. So I don't imagine that you would ever be driving it around with the top up, but it's good to know that if you wanted it, you have the security of a hard top and don't have to worry about wind buffeting or um, thieves cutting in to your cloth top. You have a nice and secure hard top in place. As I showed you earlier, it is really quick to go up and down and works very well even in high pressure drive through car washes. Again, none of the real sacrifices that come from owning a convertible. And all of the benefits with the open sky and the soundtrack of that V8 behind you. Speaking of behind you, uh, I mentioned I am hearing the V8 behind me, but it's actually up front. I showed you that earlier. And typically Ferrari V8s are located in the back. So this California was really rare in the fact that it moved the V8 up front in a grand tour and it only gave you flappy paddles, no manual transmission. Living with this, it is a grand tour, which means it is supremely comfortable. Oh, just puts a smile on your face. No. But it is supremely comfortable. It is meant to take you on a grand tour of the coastal lines or from coast to coast. And with that comes, again, a little bit of sacrifice on the performance side of things. This has, surprisingly for the heavy, hard metal retractable top, 
close to a 50-50 weight distribution. And that lends to very good performance in that aspect. But this is not an all out track performance vehicle. This is really a comfortable cruiser that you would want to take on long trips. And I showed you the ample amount of trunk space back there. So it's something that you legitimately could take on long weekend trips. Testing out the suspension, I am here on the historic brick streets of downtown Tyler, Texas. And I have taken vehicles down these roads with performance intentions less than this California and been beaten to death and jiggled to death going down these roads. It is definitely a firmer ride than some, but it is not beating me to death going down these roads and I really have no complaints on the ride. It's actually quite comfortable. Even going down those old railroad tracks did not beat me up. Coming down to more of the interior, I absolutely love this quilted caramel leather and the two-tone black and caramel on the dash and lower dash. You get real metal here at, to go with the rear me, real metal paddle shifters and you have a bright Ferrari yellow tack up front uh, that lets you know exactly what gear you're in. Leather and carbon fiber wrapped steering wheel is perfect to hold on to and even gives you some shift lights up here on the top. And Ferrari has done a very interesting thing in hiding the horn. It's actually under my thumb. Something I may or may not have found by accident. Yes, driving around in this, it is easy and comfortable to drive and is something that I could see myself taking on a perfect, beautiful weather grand tour myself. You know, it being a GT car and this being GT garage talk, it's a perfect pairing, right? Maybe I should buy this one and uh, wrap it in some logos. Interesting. Speaking of buying it, this one may just be for sale. Stick around to find out how you can make it yours. Well, there you have it. That concludes my short time here with this Ferrari California here today. Now, I only had a limited amount of time with this model, but you can have all the time you want because this actual model is for sale thanks to our friends over at House of Cars here in Tyler, Texas. If you are interested in taking this beautiful California home for yourself and keeping it for a while to enjoy the sunshine all year long, be sure and check the link down in the description below. Go see Logan and Jaren and the team over at House of Cars, but be sure to tell them GT Garage Talk sent you. As for me, I really enjoyed my time with this. The uh, drop top is perfect for a hot summer day, just like today, and it makes for a more than competent grand tour as you tour around the surrounding location wherever that may be whether it's in california or even here in tyler texas till next time gearheads bye This really is the perfect freck. <laughs> because I was handed the keys to this 2011. But it is warm.